Welcome, my Action Principles Champions. I'm Bill Fitzpatrick from BillFitzpatrick.com. I'm founder of the nonprofit American Success Institute, and I'm honored to be one of your teachers on your wonderful life journey to real estate success. This is real estate principle number 20. This is a good one. It's all about highest and best use. This is a very important concept, highest and best use. Now, if you're a serious real estate investor, you're a serious real estate investing student. You should know about a man called, by the name of William Zeckendorf. Zeckendorf was one of the richest and most influential real estate investors who ever lived. He was most active during the 40s, the 50s, and the early 1960s. He helped to, to revitalize and rebuild New York City, Montreal, the Mile High Center in Denver, Century City in Los Angeles. His primary base of operation was, was New York City, and he was instrumental, along with the Rockefeller family, in bringing the United Nations to New York. If you can ever find a copy of this book, The Autobiography of William Zeckendorf, whether you can find it on Amazon or Amazon or uh, eBay, I want you to buy a copy of this book for yourself. Over the years, I've, I've, I've bought probably several dozen copies of the book. People keep borrowing the book, and it's so good, I never get the book back. This last copy of the book, I paid $30 for, so this book is not cheap. But this book is worth the price. Go to your library. Maybe your library has a copy of the book, or maybe they can get you a copy of the book. I want you to read this book, The Autobiography of William Zeckendorf. Zeckendorf was a genius, and he gave us a gift. He gave us the gift of highest and best use. See, Zeckendorf, this is the way that he thought. He'd say, I want you to, I want you to think about yourself as a modern-day Rip Van Winkle. That means close your eyes and imagine what your small specific investment area is going to look like 10 years, 20 years from now. Close your eyes and see the future. What will change? What is the highest and best use for every one of those properties? Think. Relax. Think that vast store of knowledge you have from all of your research, think. Now open your eyes and start to do what you've seen. Will the abandoned gas station, could that really become a McDonald's? Will that old factory building be turned into luxury condominiums? How many farms that you see out along the highway will become housing developments? Will that big old house on Main Street be be converted into apartments? Are there, are there new stores that are, that are needed that should be built on the highway? Most people, well, they just go through their lives day after day, kind of accepting what they see. You look at properties as you drive your specific investment area and you're thinking, what are you thinking? I want you to think new. I want you to think bigger. I want you to think better. I want you to think different. I want you to think, why not? Close your eyes. Meditate on all of this knowledge that you have. Everything is changing. Everything will always be changing. And for every one of these changes in your small specific investment area, it involves real estate, so there will be real estate transactions. There's going to be buyers and sellers and agents and, and developers all involved in these changes. And you will be an active investor, seeing something different, seeing something better. You can be the catalyst to get things going. You're going to be the visionary, the Zeckendorf, who will see things better and is making profits all along the way. You are an expert. Now, use your expertise to become a visionary and see all of these properties and all of these changes passing from old hands to young. 
from old uses to new uses. What does your knowledge tell you is going to happen, is going to be different in your small specific investment area? And as Zekendorf said, all he really did was to put himself in the middle of all of this action, in the middle of all of this change. Be sure to investigate all of the free educational resources that we offer on BillFitzpatrick.com. And when you do that, we ask you to make a generous donation. You help us. You're part of the American Success Institute. Now, if you're watching me on YouTube, hey, this is easy. Google has made it very easy to click and donate a few dollars to support our nonprofit educational work. We need, we welcome, and we appreciate your support. I'm asking you, if you like what I'm teaching you, you say, yeah, I want to be a part of this. I want to do this. Well, come on, let's make a difference together by bringing the action principles to those in need of hope and encouragement. Your dollars help us to continue this work. In advance, thank you for your generosity. I'm Bill Fitzpatrick, and I'll be back shortly with our next real estate principle, real estate principle number 21. What stores are missing? Until then, hurrah, let's go out, highest and best you, start thinking, let's do it. Thank you for listening. For more information on Bill's work, the Action Principles, and the American Success Institute, please visit BillFitzpatrick.com.